stay here. I'll be back. The first method to consider is free convection. In free convection, buoyancy forces govern the flow of the convecting fluid over the surface. Buoyancy is due to fluid density gradients combined with a body force, in this case gravity. In free convection, the Rayleigh number, a product of the Grasshoff and Prandtl numbers, is a number used to describe a free convection system. The average Nusselt number can be found from the Rayleigh number with this correlation. From that, a function for the convective heat transfer coefficient can be found. Rho Cp dt dt describes the heat loss from the solid surface, in this case the television. When we set Rho Cp dt dt equal to the heat transfer coefficient times the temperature difference, also a function of time, we can integrate this equation to find the approximate time required to cool the system. In forced convection, fluid motion is created by some external means. In the case of forced convection, the Nusselt number depends on the Reynolds and Prandtl numbers. If part of the surface is not heated and the laminar fluid motion is coming from this side, the unheated length will affect the Nusselt number. Cassis is the unheated length. It modifies the Nusselt number calculation as shown. From the Nusselt number, like in free convection, we can solve for H and integrate the equation which sets the heat loss from the television equal to the convective heat transfer from the surface. For the situation where the fluid flows toward the heated side of the plate, the denominator term from the previous calculation is simply eliminated and the simple Nusselt number correlation, a function of Reynolds and Prandtl numbers, remains. The same procedure is used to find the heat transfer coefficient and to integrate to find cooling time. Hmm. Yeah.